Hey Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing great. So I'm gonna do a mid-monthly reading instead of the usual monthlies. Um, I did not wanna rush the monthlies. Energy's been a little bit crazy lately, so I'm doing mid-monthlies this time instead. So if you guys want a private reading, that information is always posted in the description box below the video as well as the about section. All right, Scorpios, I'm starting off with a guidance card. Two came out for you. This is Doreen Virtues Archangel Power Tarot deck. We have the Justice card and we have the Knight of Ariel, which is the Knight of Pentacles. So Justice, number eight in this deck. This is all about equality. It's about good karma. It can be um, legal battles that are decided in your favor. Okay, rulings made in your favor. So don't give up. Remain strong. Some of you could be dealing with that in divorces, any other legal battle that you've been dealing with, but justice is here to balance things out. Knight of Ariel, which is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It deals with finances, money. It can be a specific person. But what this is saying is balance and stability. It's about planning things. It's about a new fresh start that offers abundance, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy because this energy is about somebody who makes a plan, somebody who puts a lot of thought into it. So whether this is a person or whether this is finances, money, a job, some kind of offer that can be coming in, very, very nice energy between justice and the secure, stable energy. And this night is the most stable and secure out of all the nights. Um, yes, very slow moving, but it's all about security and stability. So very nice energy to start off with. All right, Scorpios, let's see what's going on with you guys mid-November through mid-December. Very nice, Scorpios. So definitely could be some kind of news or something coming in here. And definitely could be involving finances, the home. Now, like I've been telling some of the other signs. We have a couple extra cards that came out. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. So this is the strength and the courage to get through whatever you are getting through. And if this does involve some kind of aspect of justice in your life, whether it is a legal battle, whether it's just justice needing to be served, karma, karmic situations, strength, okay? Look at this, wounded warrior, nine of wands. So this is saying, do not give up. You may feel tired, you may be exhausted, you may feel like, is this cycle ever going to end? It is going to end. Things are going to start getting better very soon, Scorpio. As I was telling some of the other signs, we have Jupiter moving into Sagittarius in November. So that is your second house of resources, finances, how you make your money, your stability being your second house. Okay, we have the new moon in Scorpio, early November. So new moons bring in new things, new situations, fresh energy, fresh ideas. That's in your first house, obviously being Scorpio. Um, and then we have Saturn, which is in Capricorn. So that involves your communication, you know, what you put out there, working together with people, alliances, things like that. So... We're starting off with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about complete happiness. So you could be hearing some kind of news here, especially with the Ace of Swords. 
um, some kind of news that is completely exciting, fulfilling, feeling like, oh, this other cycle's finally ended, you know, um, the justice cycle, whatever it is uh, that you've been going through. But this is talking about fulfillment. So for some of you, definitely some kind of happy, exciting news with the Ace of Swords, okay? This can be some kind of a decision with the Ace of Swords and this is in your favor with the crown on the sword. That's what this card represents, okay? Rulings, um, if it involves some kind of legal battle, but also besides that, this can be new, fresh ideas, some kind of news that you hear. Three of Pentacles, this can be helpful people on your side in your life, whether it's friends, if it's involving law, people that have been helping on your behalf, um, but very helpful people in your life, family, whoever that is. It's about success and working together. Temperance card. I feel like there's either somebody here coming into your life or people in your life that have been divinely guided. This was like divinely orchestrated, whatever um, situation you have going on here. Temperance is Sagittarius, strength is Leo. So know that you are on the right path. Find some balance in your life. Things are going to work out. It's all in divine timing with the temperance card. It's all about patience. Things will work out in the best way for you. Eight of Pentacles. This involves work, projects, working your butt off. Now we have the chariot. The chariot is about success and advancement forward. So this can involve something along the line of work projects, some kind of aspect of your life that you've been working your tail off. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, this is general. So the Queen of Cups energy is very mature being a queen. It is emotional, it's caring, it's all these good things. It's overall just good abundance, happiness, fulfillment. So could be the need to nurture yourself. Maybe you feel like you're being nurtured. Maybe you feel like all these good things are finally happening for you. And you just feel like you're receiving a lot of wonderful gifts from the universe, especially with the Page of Pentacles here. Okay, this is some kind of awesome offer. It's new, it's exciting, you're happy about it. Pentacles being stability, Two of Cups, definitely can be a love offer here. Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. Now, for some of you, this is involving some kind of a legal battle with this King of Swords here, can represent a lawyer, especially with this Three of Pentacles, people on your behalf. This Ten of Swords energy, it's not saying that it's a painful ending on your behalf. It's saying that this painful cycle is over. Okay, that's what this card represents. The clouds are parting. So the cycle is finally coming to an end. Whether it's love, something involving work. But let's start clarifying for you, Scorpio. All right, I want to take a look at the Ace of Swords for you guys. Swords for Scorpio, please. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is like defending yourself, standing your ground, standing up for yourself. Whatever hard work you've been putting in, you're definitely receiving something good out of it. Now look what we have. King of Swords, Three of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. So there's something huge that's happening here. Some kind of a change in direction of events or something along those lines. King of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. That's the second time we now have this. So some kind of a decision. Um, this can involve a person in your life coming in to help you and assist you. Page of Pentacles, an offer of abundance. So if this is legal matter, some kind of a settlement. And with the Three of Wands, this is saying your ships are coming in. So do not worry. The changes are just on the horizon. Eight of Wands, that's huge changes coming in. A shift in direction of how things have been. So it's time to lay those worries down, those fears, the sadness. You're going to be moving forward here. And I want to take a look at this Two of Cups. Let's clarify the Two of Cups for Scorpio. But the Two of Cups represents some kind of awesome offer, okay? 
with somebody who's on the same page as you. It can be a love offer. It can be, you know, business partnership, whatever it is. Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is something that's coming in rather soon, sooner than later. Oh, look at this. A lot of Swords energy here. So whether it's an air sign or not, it's that energy. Some kind of a decision or something along those lines here with the Knight of Swords and Queen of Swords. Okay, it's... With this knight and this queen energy, I feel like for somebody out there, whoever this is for, whoever's been going through legal battles, those things, things are really going to start to move forward and you're going to see results. That's what I'm really feeling there. Now, I want to also look at what just came up with the justice card. All right, yeah, so there is something going on here. Even if it's not, you know, a legal battle in with justice, justice is coming in for... You know, my Scorpio is over here. Um, whatever difficult situations you guys have been facing, really, that just says it all. So, all right, my Scorpios. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing month and take care.